or have you noticed a difference? And he's like, yeah, I thought maybe you got rid of a dog. At ease. Good job, buddy. Hi. No jumps. So good job, good job, good job. All right, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to, okay, let's relax. Welcome, guys, to another dog vlog. Alright guys, welcome to another dog vlog. Um, today's video, I am going to be talking to you about raw, meaty, bones, keyword raw. Yes, I am going to talk to you about tips and tricks and best practices of feeding raw, meaty bones based on my personal experience. And no, y'all, I keep saying this, I'm not a professionally trained anything, um, but in my experience, this is what has worked. This is what I've seen not work. And this is why I'm gonna talk about why I feed my dogs raw, meaty bones. Let's jump into this video right to meow. The reasons I feed raw, meaty bones, um, first off are, one, especially in this hot weather, I'm like already sweating and I've been outside for like five minutes, is there, I, I serve it fr frozen and, and cold, so it's a great way to cool the dog down, um, especially in Texas here when it, where it's so super hot, like triple digits. I can't be playing fetch with them for hours on end because it's too hot. And a raw meaty bone, one, cools them down, and two, entertains them mentally and physically because they're using their jaw to chew on the bone and that stimulates their kind of natural desire to chew on things. Before I give it to Finn, and I'll show you guys how I give it to him and, and what works, what doesn't work, but a couple safety tips before I do this. Um, number one, first and foremost, is you never, ever, 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 ever give your dog bones that are cooked, and you never give them bones, period, raw, or even raw, unsupervised. You always need to monitor your dog's chewing. So that's why we're outside because as it defrosts, it can make a little a little mess. And make sure to discard it after the marrow and the meat has been eaten. You also want to make sure that you know your dog's chewing ability. If your dog is super aggressive chewer and they are a gulper and they try to swallow it, maybe a raw bone's not for them. Um, if your dog is super big or super small, just make sure that you pick the right appropriate size. Um, some people say that you can never really give a bone that's too big, but you can absolutely absolutely give a bone that's too little. If you give a big dog a really small bone, they are, it's, it's easier for them to swallow and choke on, so you don't wanna do that. Let's jump into this. Let's, let's show you what it's like giving uh, my puppy here uh, some raw bone. This is a raw beef bone. It's part of a femur. You ready? Okay, um, I'll have it linked below, the brand that I recommend, wink wink, um, and that I love to use, and I'll have that linked below. But are you ready, Finn again, huh? Oh, and as I get this bone out, I know you're so ready, Finn, sit. Uh, as I get this bone ready to feed Finn, um, make sure that you guys, if you love rescue puppies, and you're all about giving your dog the best nutrition ever, subscribe to this channel, um, join our pack, be part of our community, I'd love, I'd love to have you. So uh, let's, let's, let's give him some of this bone real quick. Okay, Finn, you ready for some raw? Meaty bone, can you down? Yes, good boy. There you go. So I feed raw meaty bones as a supplement, um, mostly as a way to help clean their teeth and just as a fun kind of mental game for them as well. I would say they get these maybe every other week. It's not even a weekly thing. Um, you also wanna be careful not to give these too frequently because sometimes they can be rich for dogs and cause some loose stool. Huh, Fanny. As you can see, these bones can keep your dog entertained for a very long time. Some dogs are faster chewers than others. But Finn, I would say, is a moderate chewer, so it really keeps him busy for a good while. Good job, buddy. Look at that happy dog. Yeah. Hi, Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy. 
Oh, and I do want to give you guys a quick update on raw feeding my dogs. So we're now several months in. My dogs are on a 100% raw fed, fully raw fed diet. Um, you can see down below, linked down below, the type of food and the brand that I'm feeding them and more of the reason why. Um, but they are feeding, feeding? <laughs> they are eating a complete and balanced pre-made raw meal mix and as you guys know I'll link the video up here so you can kind of understand more of why I'm doing that but the net of it is it's healthier for dogs uh, raw nutrition that's not cooked or baked or processed has more nutrients that are bioavailable bio for your dog and that's extremely important to me because I want my dogs to live as long as possible but they are thriving y'all like they're not even just doing well they're thriving uh, their their skin their is, is is softer or not their skin their fur is softer which I didn't even know was possible but it is they're God, I hate to say it but their bowel movements are tiny guys like super tiny which is amazing um, I even went as to as far as to ask our dog scooper have you noticed a difference and he's like yeah I thought maybe you got rid of a dog now I was like no 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 it, same amount of dogs just they're stools are smaller. I think the biggest thing for me is that they seem happier. Meal time is easily the best time of day for my dogs and watching them love their food naturally for what it is and not just because they are eating to eat but because they just love the food. It's it's amazing. Y'all it's it's pretty damn cool. Oh, you're doing so good, bud. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, if you love rescue puppies and you want to be a part of this community, click that subscribe button down below. It doesn't cost you anything, and it means more to me than you, you could ever know. And I just wanna thank everyone who's watching this video right now. Um, you know, I'm on the mission to save all the damn dogs through promoting fostering rescue dogs, um, adopting not, not, not buying dogs, spaying, neutering, um, the optimal nutrition for dogs. I mean, it's all just a part of what I wanna do to help save all the damn rescue dogs. And I can't do that alone. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and showing me support and commenting down below. It is something that I feel like I can always count on. I can always go look at my comment section or my inbox or my DMs and I can see positive notes from y'all. And if I'm having a down day or a bad day or whatever it is, you guys bring a smile to my face. Um, Finn loves y'all too. <laughs> but uh, that's it for now. And I hope that you have a beautiful